Hello, and welcome to the April 2016 edition of Radnor 411. My name is Jim Doling, and I'll be your host. We're going to start off this month with the Recreation and Community Programming Department and Director Tammy Cohen. Tammy? Hello, and welcome to the Radnor Township Recreation and Community Programming Department. Uh, my name is Tammy Cohen, and I'm the Director of Recreation, here to talk to you on this April edition of Radnor 411. We have a lot of exciting things coming up this spring. Lots of great things to tell you about with regards to parks and recreation facilities as well as programming and events. Um, we uh, have some upcoming closures to parks that we do want to make you aware of. Uh, the first one is going to be Radnor Skate Park, which is going to be closing for some surfacing repairs as of Monday, April 11th. Uh, please look for the signage that's right inside the park and obey uh, all of the signage and all of the fencing uh, that is going to be posted around the park during its closure. If you have any questions about the closure, you can of course contact our department. Uh, there's no set reopening date just yet, uh, but we do anticipate the park will be closed for at least a couple of months. Uh, we also anticipate that Clemachrome Park uh, will be closed for construction. There's a major master plan project that's going to take place there. Uh, it's going to consist of a number of different items that will change within the park, um, basically from, from end to end as far as that park's uh, linear footprint is concerned. Uh, there's going to be a new walking path throughout the park, a comfort station, a new playground, uh, some up updates and upgrades to um, some of the pathways. Uh, as well as the basketball court and tennis courts that are there. A new pavilion will be added, as well as a small band shell. Uh, for any questions or any updates on what's happening relative to the park, please give us a call and let us know um, what questions that you have. It's a very exciting project. It's actually been going on for a couple of years now uh, to get ready for construction. And uh, we're looking forward to a new and improved park. It's very exciting. Uh, we do anticipate that the park will close sometime in the early summer. A uh, set date has not been identified yet, uh, but again, if you have questions, you can always reach out to our department. Uh, we also recognize with, with spring being here and the warmer months uh, upon us, uh, a lot of our recreation facilities are in heavy usage. Uh, one of the most popular facilities here in Radnor Township, of course, is the Radnor Trail. So we just want to remind everybody to exercise good judgment and etiquette while walking along the trail. Uh, please remember to clean up, up, clean up after your pet. Um, you always want to let somebody know if you're coming up on them, if you're riding a bike, um, just because you know the trail, even though it is a six foot wide footpath, um, you know sometimes there's a lot of heavy congestion throughout the trail. So you want to make sure you're communicating with others and being respectful. Uh, there's also a number of parking lots along the trail that tend to get pretty congested, especially on the weekends. Uh, please be sure to park in the authorized areas. Um, and not along the busy roadways and, and make sure that you know you're reporting any type of issues or problems that you see along the trail to our department. Uh, the same goes for any of the parks and we realize that you know a lot of the activities that are going on throughout the spring have um, you know increased flow of traffic and incre increased flow of people in and out of the park areas so uh, if you see you know, any type of damages or any type of issues um, prevalent within our parks please be sure to call our department. Um, and of course, if there's anything of an emergency nature, you always wanna call 911. Um, our summer brochure, which actually includes some pre-summer uh, pre spring information, uh, is now available. It's posted to the website uh, on the main page of the township website, as well as the recreation department website and the web pages. Uh, it is a, a big document with a lot of great information coming up, a lot of exciting spring programs and events, and then of course summer programs and events and lots of camps. Uh, registration is underway for Radnor Day Camp. Uh, it's getting close to closing, so if Radnor Day Camp is something that your children uh, that are ages 3 to 15 are interested in, make sure you give us a call right away uh, to try and hold your spot because it is a program that's going to fill up and we'll fill up of course in advance of the start date in late June. Uh, so if you get a chance, check out the guide. If you want to reach out to our department and have it mailed to you, you can certainly do that. Uh, we have a lot of events in April, so a April is very busy. Um, no one would have any excuses not to get outside in April. So in addition to the busy sports and activity schedules that are going on, there are a wealth of great events that are happening too. Uh, the first one, of course, is an event that unfortunately has been rescheduled uh, two times now uh, from March, and that's the annual spring extravaganza event. 
It'll take place on Sunday, April 3rd. Uh, it's been relocated from Villanova University to Dittmar Park, uh, which is a great park in Wayne. Um, and we're looking forward to the same big grand event with lots of great prizes and lots of great activities, uh, but a new location, of course. Parking will be there at the park as well as at the St. David's Church as well as Wayne Elementary. Uh, the event will go from 1 to 4 o'clock, so if you have any, I apologize, 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock, with the egg hunts beginning at 2.30 p.m., so 2.30 p.m. for the egg hunts. If you have any questions about the event, let us know. And if you want to see a small snapshot, Stay tuned right here and you can see what happened at last year's event. Uh, we also have um, on our on our plate for April uh, April event menu uh, the Youth Trout Derby, which will be taking place on April 23rd, Saturday, April 23rd, and Sunday, April 24th. Uh, there's various sessions, so you'll want to reach out to our department to talk through those. Uh, we are having some closures um, with the evening session on uh, Saturday evening, but there's a morning session on Saturday as well as a morning session on Sunday that still remain open, but please don't hesitate to call us to get involved uh, with the Youth Trout Derby. Great event, um, has been taking place for almost 20 years uh, down at Sawmill Park. Uh, we also have uh, coming up Wheels of Wayne on North Wayne Avenue, and that event will take place on Sunday, April 24th. It's an annual event that is spectacular. Um, so I know a lot of people hear cars and think that you only have to be a fan of vehicles and cars to come out to the event, but there's all kinds of vendors, great food. We have a pulled pork contest and a pizza contest that'll be going on, as well as a lot of great activities for kids. Um, there's a rain date, of course, for this event, and that would be on May 1st. Hopefully, Mother Nature is more kind to us in April than she was in March. Um, for any questions on that event, or if you'd like to sign up and register a vehicle, or if you would like to register as a vendor to participate in the event, uh, you can contact our department directly and we'll get you taken care of there. Um, and stay tuned here to watch a, a little snapshot of how the event went last year. Lastly, we have the Arbor Day celebration uh, coming up to celebrate Radnor Township being awarded Tree City USA, uh, which will take place on Tuesday, April 26th with a rain date of April 27th. It's a great annual event, it includes the Scouts and the Radnor Conservancy and a number of other individuals from the community um, with tree plantings that will take place at uh, Friends of Radnor Trails Park as well as along the Radnor Trail. Uh, it's a great annual event that we've been doing and we'd love to see you come out and use it as an opportunity to walk the trail that evening. It is a 6 o'clock p.m. event. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, as always, um, our department uh, prides itself in the activities and uh, programs that we can bring to you. If you have ideas, if you have suggestions, if there are things that you want to see that you don't currently see, reach out to us 
and we'd be happy to sit down and talk with you about what we can do to make those programs available to you. Uh, we are also a huge resource for a lot of things going on in the community by way of recreation and parks facilities. Don't hesitate to reach out to us and we'll be sure to help you with uh, any of your needs, recreational needs. Enjoy the summer, enjoy the winter, um, enjoy the spring. Uh, there's a lot of great opportunities to get out. Um, Radnor is very fortunate to have a wealth of great amenities available. Um, so make sure you get out, have an opportunity, enjoy the sun, enjoy the great weather, um, and experience all that, Radnor ha all that Radnor has to offer. And we'll see you in May. And now we have an update from the Finance Department and Director Bill White. Bill? Thank you, Jim, and here's what's going on for finance in April. Uh, one of the primary projects we are finalizing right now is working with our independent auditors on compiling our audited financial statements. That project's been going on for the, the better part of the last month. Uh, we're also working with Carfac on a couple other projects. Uh, the one that's been ongoing for uh, roughly 14 months is the um, the Enterprise Resource Planning, or ERP project. Uh, we're hoping to have legislation in front of the board in May uh, to ask for their permission to proceed with purchasing Tyler Technologies, which will replace all of the uh, departmental software and consolidate it onto, uh, into one operating system. Uh, the goal there uh, being greater efficiencies a uh, single source of data for property information, for account information. If you're a, uh, a resident here in Radnor and you want to look up your tax and sewer bills, it'll all be in one spot. You'll have access to that information, which right now you have to call and ask. Um, so I, all of those types of enhancements that technology today offers, uh, as well as uh, operational business process flow efficiencies. Um, right now, uh, it's, there's a couple processes that are very inefficient in terms of the number of folks that have to handle a transaction. Uh, it's necessary today because the technology does not allow for proper controls over those processes, um, but the technology that we're about to buy will allow us to streamline a lot of those. So uh, we're looking forward to um, getting that project in front of the board. Uh, if, if approved in May, we would expect implementation to begin in, in June. So at that point, uh, Things will get pretty busy for our department and other departments as well. Um, the implementation time frame is expected to be about 24 months, so it'll be a, a lengthy process. We're also working right now on um, the accounting and all of the work associated with the bonds that were issued for the park and trail improvements, as well as the library improvements. Uh, so we're meeting with various agencies, uh, granting agencies, engineering firms, uh, the library and those folks to make sure those pro those projects are on target uh, to meet their scheduled completion dates. Um, in addition to uh, those big projects, uh, we also have a handful of smaller ones that we're working with Carfec on. We're just in the um, the initial phases of those, but by the end of the year, we'll have those wrapped up. And you can always go to uh, the Carfec uh, page on the township's website uh, for additional information on those projects. So. Uh, the other thing with this being April is that the, uh, the sewer rent bills uh, went out at the beginning of the month. They'll be due at the end of the month. Uh, this is an annual bill uh, and it's tied to the, um, the water usage from each property from the previous year uh, as reported to the township through Aqua. Um, and then the township charges a, um, a fee per 1,000 gallons water used. Uh, and those dollars are deposited directly into the sanitary sewer fund uh, and maintain, accounted for and maintained separate of all other township activities uh, to maintain the, the infrastructure and the sanitary sewer system here in Radnor as well as pay our costs associated with sending the sanitary water downstream, um, which is the bulk of where that money goes. Uh, and a roughly $5 million sanitary sewer fund budget, uh, $4 million of that goes to pay for uh, the treatment of the uh, the sanitary water uh, downstream. Uh, the, all that information is included in the township budget. So if you have any want further information, that's a good source to go to. Always, you can give us a call. But those bills are due at the end of the month. Uh, if you have any questions, contact Amy Lacey here at the township building, and she'll be happy to help you out. Uh, that's about it for April. So uh, hopefully, uh, everyone's enjoying the beginning of their spring, and we'll see you back here in May. 
Our last segment this month is from the Community Development Department with Health Officer Larry Tauton. Larry? Hello, my name is Larry Tauton. I'm the Health Officer of Radnor Township, and as the we get through the winter months, it gets a little warmer. We all look at having fun for the summer and the spring, and in that in that process, we look at looking into the commercial swimming pools in the various areas of Radnor Township. In that process, I just want the, the residents to know that we do inspect those pools for various life safety uh, requirements and licensing requirements. The first thing that we check for is to make sure that they have the Pennsylvania Department of Health's license that's required. They're also required to have the uh, Radnor Township Bathing Place License, Chapter 120 requires that, um, where they're required to have a certified lifeguard on duty, uh, one lifeguard for every 50 bathers, and the lifeguards have to be trained in CPR, life, life, life safety, and AED training. The lifeguard certifications must be on site at all times. They must have them with them, the certifications. If not, we have to close the pool because I, can't, I'm not, I need to have, be sure, I need to be sure that the person that's there that's certified is certified. Some other um, life safety equipment that's required is a reaching device, a blanket, flotation device, rescue tube at the lifeguard station, first aid uh, kit, including a pair of scissors, a backboard with a head restraint, testing kit, and a telephone with emergency numbers with written directions to direct emergency services to the pool in the case of an emergency. Um, and there needs to be an automatic feeder to administer the chlorine into the pool, and need to be a certified pool operator that is certified in administering these chemicals into the pool. Also, in, in addition to, to those life safety um, re requirements, the lifeguard must take samples for an outdoor pool one time every hour, for an indoor pool one time every two hours. Also, there's required that a independent laboratory comes to the pool once a week, pulls a sample, and does a full spectrum, spectrum analysis of the pool. And that report has to be available upon inspection for me as I come out and do the weekly inspections. And they, that laboratory also sends me a copy. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching Radnor 411. Please stay tuned next month for a brand new episode. And remember, RTV is your information station. We weren't born to follow. Come on and get up off your knees. When life is a bit of fear, the